guys, today we're gonna be building a beach house in Bloxburg. As you can see behind me, I already came up with the foundations of the house, but I didn't really recolor the house just yet because I wanna go through it with you guys. So beach houses usually have like these types of horizontal planks, either in the color of like institutional white or maybe like fog blue. Another thing that I always see with these beach houses is like these planks that are usually colored like a light linen. And then when we go to the interior and we're gonna recolor furniture, we're gonna use a lot of this wicker pattern. And I think it's gonna be colored like wheat because I always see this type of style. And I mean, I guess the rest of it is just smooth plastic and institutional white. I think I like these planks on this wall. And then maybe on this side of the house, we'll make it like blue. If you guys are wondering what windows I used here, I used a large standard window and I think I used it like everywhere, even here. Every single window is a large standard window. And let's not forget some of these pillars because otherwise, how is everything floating? If you don't have the pillars, there's no stability. I think what I find like super interesting about these types of beach houses, the stairs are at the very front of the house like every single time and they look so awesome to me. I feel like I should be good at making beach houses because I live on an island, but I don't know. I feel like we don't really have like lots of beach houses out here. I've seen a lot of like Mediterranean style houses where I'm from, but not so much beach houses. Yeah, another thing about beach houses that is really interesting to me is that they always have like these uh, <laughs> roof trims. I think that's what it's called. They're either like in this arrow design or I think they're like straight and then they go up like that. It's like one or the other. I don't know if I should continue this wood up here. I think it looks a little goofy. All right, let's change it. I have mixed feelings about this. It's okay, we'll survive, we'll be fine. I bought this beach buggy. It looks so cool, but it's so pricey. Like I did not have to do that. I just kind of bought it without even looking at the price. And now I'm like, oh, if I sell it, I only get like 80% back. So I don't really want to sell it. Also, of course, a beach house would not be surrounded with grass. That wouldn't really make much sense. A beach house needs to be surrounded by like sand and definitely water. Usually when I make like beach houses, I think I put the water like at the front. Oh my God, what happened to the sand? I think I'm going to do the same thing that I always do with beach houses, which is putting a little bit of water at the front. Oh, I feel like that water looks awkward there. Wait, let me redo it. All right, we're gonna put the water like right here. Just a random puddle of water. You know what? We're gonna pretend it's like a pool. I like how the walls are just above it. It's so silly. Since we're pretending that it's a pool, we probably need the ladder so you don't like stay stuck in there. Safety first. Nobody's drowning today. What I was thinking of doing for very quick landscaping is using some of these new items. So we have these like coconut palm trees and I'm gonna put them around here. I know they look a little silly right now, but once we add like a couple of tropical leaves, it's gonna look really natural. Now we gotta put these tropical leaves like surrounding these. I think we have some other like exotic trees. <gasps> yes, it's literally called exotic tree. I'm gonna put a couple of these as well. Let them blend in together. They are all best friends. Wait, I might be getting a little distracted. Folding beach lounge chair. Here you are. Let me just recolor these. I like the blue, but I want it to be like a softer blue. I like how they're all distant from each other. What's wrong? Are you guys having a fight? Also, did you guys see my chunky new cat? Isn't it so cute? I love this cat so much the moment I saw it. Look at his expression. It knows what's up. Also, if you like my shirt, it's on my group if you want it. Look at the cat. It's like, yeah. <laughs> Okay, I think we're done with the exterior. Let's move on inside and create a little floor plan. So obviously it's gonna be our garage. See, I have never been inside like a beach house. So this is like super weird for me. Since upstairs here is our entrance, does that mean like our kitchen and dining area is here? In that case, this is obviously gonna be our entryway. Maybe right here can be like the kitchen and dining area. That's gonna be such a like vibe just looking out from here. We're gonna need stairs. I think I'm gonna use these classic spiral stairs. Push them here. I guess the rest of this place is just the living room. And then downstairs, I'm gonna make this the bathroom. And I guess this could be like the bedroom bedroom and this could be like a little office area and over here could be like a crafts corner for the floor i'm gonna use the same vertical planks because they look really nice and you know what i'm gonna use it all around the house let me just put this wall trim all around without trim what are we i still can't believe when i first started building i just did not ever use wall trim do you guys use wall trim or do you guys still forget i don't think these types of places have crown molding i'm not sure but you know what i'm gonna put crown molding anyways i just feel like it'll look good in the end so i'm trying to plan a trip to go to the beach <laughs> one of these days i'm super excited about it i really really love swimming. It's like one of my favorite things. I used to want to like swim competitively, but let me just tell you, I'm drowning in that water. <laughs> I'm not a good swimmer, but I still like swimming. I still think it's so nice. For the lighting inside, I have the best idea. I did this for like another coastal house and it looks so good. So you grab this geometric chandelier and you put the wicker design on it and color it like khaki. And look at that. That looks so cool. I'm even going to put it in the garage. I don't care. So since this is a beach house, I'm going to go for like fog walls. We want to lean into that ocean look. I'm going to put the fancy bench over here in our entryway. I am gonna recolor it though to be like a darker blue so it looks a little different from the wall. Oh no, am I gonna be doing a lot of fancy stuff? I have a feeling I will. It's just gonna look nice, trust me. Like, look at this. So beachy. One photo frame, two photo frame, <gasps> and a couple of seashells. This is a mirror? I need to use this 100%. I'm gonna use two of them. Slippers, look at these flip flops. Wait, why did I call them slippers? I'm gonna put the flip flops like here. I know usually I put like shoes underneath the bench, but for flip flops, I feel like they shouldn't be underneath the bench. Am I making any sense? 
ones there. For pillows, you already know what we gotta do. Round pillows all the way. I think the reason I wanna use these is because they kind of remind me of the seashells. Like, you see that little design on them? I kind of see it on this as well. I'm gonna go for like some differing colors here. I'm gonna make one of them look just white, another one look a little bit sandy, maybe a little bit of a dark gray. We also need a hat stand. I'm gonna put it next to the dresser. Good old umbrella stand. Of course, the hook rack. One jacket, two jacket, three jacket. Got all the jackets in the world out here. I'm just changing between like white, blue, and yellow. I think that's sort of the entryway. And then like we said, the rest of this is gonna be the living room. For this living room, I feel like using this extra large sofa. I really like it. This might be a bit of a weird take, but what if I put a fireplace? Listen, I know you're not gonna use it in the summer. It's too hot, but it might look fashionable, okay? Trust me. I'm literally gonna shove it like into the wall here. And I just wanna use this so I can put a big TV on it. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Look at this coffee table. It's calling for us. It wants us. We gotta use it. It looks like it belongs here. And on it, I'm gonna put a mug. One singular coffee table book. What else do we have that's like beach related? I'm trying to put beach stuff. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I nearly forgot the sunscreen for the entryway. Of course you need this before you go outside. Otherwise you're gonna burn your face. All right, you know what else? I'm gonna put these sticks because it doesn't hurt to have nice aromas in the house. That's kind of a vibe. This arch cylindrical lamp. I'm gonna put it right here so it's like shining a spotlight. It's like in the living room and not in the living room. I don't know how to describe it. I'm also gonna put this overgrowth floor plant here. And before I finish with the living room, I have one last thing I wanna do, which is put this painting stand because it's so nice. Just make sure it doesn't light on fire. Wait, I lied. I lied. That wasn't the last thing. This is the last thing. We're gonna put this round carpet. Texture of detailed tiles. Look at it. Very coastal. All right, so that's our living room done. And our entryway is also done. And now we're gonna move on over here to the kitchen and dining area. Subway tiles for the wall. We're gonna put this modern counter right here. I think three times. We could put this fridge cabinet somewhere around here. I don't know yet. Okay, hear me out. I'm gonna put the stove in this corner. Slot it in. Let's put the fridge in here as well. Glass cabinet right here. And just a couple of normal cabinets around. Modern glass hood above the stove. Kitchen sink right here. All right, so this is looking good, right? But it's like, where does the dining area go? Right in the center. I usually like never do that. But today I'm feeling it. I think it'll like fit nicely. I'm gonna use a glass dining table actually because I just think it'll be better. And for the chairs, I'm actually gonna go for this contemporary one because to me, this feels kind of beachy. If you just like recolor it to be wicker, it looks beachy. All right, let's just recolor the rest of this kitchen. I'm going for the, like the same planks as the floor because I think they look pretty good. I don't even know what I pressed, but I'm okay with the recoloring of the stove. It looks good. And you know what? Slightly blue fridge. <laughs> I usually don't see blue fridges. I don't think I've ever seen one in real life. And let's not forget the rest of our appliances. Toaster, coffee maker, blender, and the microwave. Some people tell me that I put the toaster the wrong way. Is this the wrong way? Because to me, this is like the right way. Otherwise, how do you like interact with this? You need to like put the toast and then push this down. So this means that this is the right way. I'm just like getting in my head. I'm like, I don't know what's right anymore. <gasps> do you see the little chonky cat right there? Look at it. It's like waiting to enter the house. What a little king. All right, dish dry rack right here. Rural paper stand, no problem. I love decorating things and just being like, yeah, no problem. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Let me just yoink this floor plan. Put it up here, low key. I don't know why. I just, it's calling for it. It wants to be up here. Trust me. It demanded that I put it up there. It's so simple to just put these placemats, but I feel like they make all the difference. You know, just put the plate super quickly. If you want to be extra fancy, you can also put these napkin rings. And you know me, I love putting roses in the middle of this. I just feel like it looks cute. We got to make this look a little bit more beachy. So I'm going to put a couple of seashells. <laughs> Seashell here. Seashell there. You know what? I'm also going to put a sunscreen like here. Because look at all these windows. Look at all the sunlight that's hitting your face. You need to put the sunscreen as much as you can, especially when it's summer. You need some soap to wash your hands. Here are some grocery bags. You just came back from shopping. It's probably got like apples and bananas in there. Speaking of actually, let me grab a fruit bowl. This place needs like so much more decoration. What else do I put here? You know what's missing? I know what's missing. It's the vine plant. I'm going to place it in a better spot. I'm going to place it up here. Resize it as wide as the window so it looks like more blended in. Okay, now the rest of it is empty. What do I put there? Here are a couple of cookbooks. I feel like nobody uses cookbooks. Cookbooks are just kind of there for decoration. Not to open them. You just leave them up there for the rest of eternity. I'm going to give them a little succulent and another succulent. Succulent one and succulent two. I actually love this kitchen so much. It's so nice. Should I give them another sink? You know what? You're the type of rich person to have two sinks, to wash your hands twice. <laughs> All right, so the kitchen is done. We have this little spot here, which I said was going to be an activities corner. I'm guessing that they're like painting in this corner. Grab the stylish chair because it's gorgeous. I'm trying to see if there's like an activity in here that has to do with like the summer. <laughs> I'm guessing these two balls, like when you go to the sea, like you play with these. A boom box, you know, listen to some music while you're painting because I really don't know what else you would do in the summer. Well, what is a summer activity other than like swimming, right? Since they're like painting and stuff over here, I'll give them some newspapers, pen cups, tape, some paper, little trash can. Let me search art.
art. Do I get anything special? Anything that helps with our little art corner? Not really. Well, I guess that's the activities corner. I don't really have too much to put here. I mean, we've already got this painting stand. I'll put another one here. I think that's gonna be it because I don't really know what else to add. Now we're gonna go on downstairs. Let me just recolor this the same as this. You know, gotta keep that wood grain going on. Now, I think I'm gonna grab this fog color and I'm gonna put it on the rest of these walls downstairs, except for like the bathroom. I feel like the bathroom should have something else. I think for the garage, I'm gonna do like a cool gray and we do have a vehicle for it. It's this buggy. Just put it in here, pretend and I didn't spend a ton of money to buy that. Yoink this door, put it here. I love this see-through door so much. It's so nice, but I'm not gonna use it here because this is the bedroom. You don't want a see-through door for your bedroom. That'd be kind of weird. I'm gonna be honest. I kind of forgot what this area was meant to be. <laughs> I don't think it was meant to be the living room because the living room fits just fine here. Okay, I'm gonna ignore this spot since I completely forgot what it is. I'll just go to the garage and quickly do this. I'm gonna lightly decorate this. And by that, I mean, I'm just gonna put these crates. I always do this because they look good. What do you guys usually put in your garages? I feel like the crates are a must and then other things like storage i guess like i was about to pretend that we can store stuff but yeah i don't have enough for that what i'm gonna do to pretend that this is being used as like storage is i'm gonna use this plastic plastic tiered shelving <laughs> look at that that looks so tropical so beachy i feel like you might keep like some seed packages in here maybe soil actually i'm gonna put the soil up there and some on the floor like so i'm also gonna put a couple of these seed packages like this one two three you have these old crunchy flip-flops you don't want to use them anymore they've just gone bad you can definitely see like a duffel bag in here and yeah, you know what? I guess the rest of the stuff that you will have here are probably random things that you don't know where to put. Like, let's say you don't want to keep this bird anymore, but you don't want to throw it. You put it here. Wait, the cleaning equipment. That just makes sense. Now we're done with the garage. We're going to move on over here to the bedroom. I think I found the most perfect spot for the bed right here. <gasps> Look at that. That looks so cozy. Just do the bolster pillow hack where you like push them down with the transform tool. And I'm going to use these trimmed pillows if it lets me place them. Hello? No, that's not where I want to put it here. Then if I go here, it goes on the bed. That's not what I'm. Oh, okay. There we go. Sorry. It was just being dramatic for a sec. Look at how cozy you can make this. Stop that. Stop going on the bed. That's not what I want. Why is this looking so good? Stop going on the bed. Why? Okay, there. Now, listen, I would normally put a comforter, but since it's the summer, you would probably overheat if you had that on. So instead, I'm just going to keep this like regular bed sheet and I'm just going to put a little design on it like this one. And over on this wall, I think it would be kind of a vibe to have a cork board, a couple of sticky notes. I'm going to make them blue for fashion. A couple of printed pictures as well. Since we have all this room, we could use this fancy wardrobe. Maybe grab the same dresser and put it in this spot. I'm not going to delete anything on this. I feel like the stuff on this dresser just makes sense. Let's copy this carpet, put it right here. Now, since the center of this room is so empty, I got an idea for what we could do. I was basically thinking we could put like two chairs kind of like this in the middle with a coffee table as well. I think it could be a vibe. I just might have to like place it a little bit better. I'm just going to remove the stuff on here. And I don't think I'm going to put anything except like a couple of papers. That's the bedroom. Now we're going to move on over here to the bathroom or well actually I think it would be called an ensuite. I'm gonna use this small rounded tiles. I'm not gonna have it be institutional white. No we ain't doing that. We're going for more blue. It's a two by two bathroom so we don't have like a lot of room to put stuff. Toilet goes here. The shower goes next to it and the sink right here. I'm gonna use this mirror right here. You know what actually I'm not gonna use that mirror. I'm gonna go for something different. I'm gonna go for this one. I just feel like it looks like the sun and it says it's summer. It's like super sunny. Put a couple of seashells here. I'm gonna use this toothbrush cup. Little vine plant right here. I can barely see what I'm doing. Good old toilet paper and we're also gonna put this bathroom mat in front of the shower i'm gonna make it blue everything's gotta be blue two towel hangers perhaps a towel ring as well so this is our bathroom now we're gonna move on to the office i think i'm gonna color the office not to be blue i think i'm gonna go for like a cool gray instead we don't have to do anything too crazy for this office we just need our desk our chair i would get the pairing tosh but i feel like getting them something fancy so here's your iceland computer cute little table lamp couple of books in this corner and then right above the desk a clock and these two shelves we're just gonna loosely decorate these shelves like add a couple of vine plants on them and a couple of those books. Actually, you know what? Never mind the vine plant. It's kind of covering the computer screen and we don't want that. So in that case, I'll just put a succulent on this one. That's sort of the office corner. And then on this side of the office, we're going to grab this large simplicity bookcase. Let me just recolor it real quick. And we're just going to put a couple of books over here. I mean, it's a bookcase after all. Oh, wait, a couple of flowers would be cute. Two vine plants side by side. And you know what? I'm going to give them a carpet right here. They probably need a chair too. I kind of feel like grabbing this floor plant from down here and putting it inside this office, like here and here. All right, so that's our office done. And now we're gonna come back here because I don't know what this was meant to be. I completely forgot. So I think I'm just gonna treat it like a hallway and like any good hallway out there, you will probably have a random dresser for no reason with a silly little ladder shelf, which will probably have a couple of books. But more importantly, it would have a cactus with a couple of succulents. It's a plank corner. Don't forget the random hallway painting. There we go. That's a good old hallway. Now, before I check the total house value, let me just subtract this buggy. Why did I spend 200K? I actually regret that. I swear I saw like 20K 
day instead. So we're going to subtract that from the actual house value. Look at this cat. It's so grumpy. It's like, why did you buy the buggy? It's 318,000, but minus the 200K for the buggy, it's 118,000, all right? This is what it looks like all around. Wait a second. What are you? What are you doing out here? Why are you clipping? Get back in there. You're going to upset the cat. Anyways, here's the surroundings of our beach house. Definitely looks pretty beachy. I like it a lot. All right, we're going to start off over here with our garage because the most expensive car is in here. Hi, Mr. Buggy that I accidentally kind of purchased and didn't press undo. Let me just drive you out here. It's actually a pretty smooth car. <gasps> no, my cat. So I'm getting distracted. This is our little entryway. And then right in front of it is our living room. And then here is our balcony. This is our activities corner. And then to the left of the activities corner is our kitchen and dining area. This is one of my most favorite kitchens ever. I just really love it. And if we go on downstairs from here, or well, actually to the ground floor, we're inside a hallway. <laughs> our garage entrance is here. And then to the left of that is the bedroom with a little seating area here. Here is your bed. Of course, you got your essentials like your wardrobe. And then you have a little ensuite. It's super small, but it has everything you need. And then finally over here is your office. That is all for today. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. I love you guys so much. Bye.